Hey everybody, this is Fi, and I'm checking out some Ludum Dare 41 games. And here I've got Horrors of Stongby. I don't know if that's how that's pronounced correctly. Um, but in any, in any case, if you're not familiar with these videos, uh, what I do is play testing. So it's not Let's Plays, and it's not reviews. It's um, basically I, I do a blind playthrough, and then I provide, uh, I vocalize my thought process as well as giving constructive feedback as much as I can. So um, designed to be useful to, for developers. Uh, typically I do games that are in development, unfinished. Uh, it's arguable whether uh, Ludum Dare games count as in development, but I, th I figured I'd try them just to try something a little different for once. Uh, so let's take a peek at this game here. It says, so we took a, a bit of a different approach to the theme and tried our hand at combining comedy and horror. The game is set in a house in a small vill village in southern Sweden, you, the lazy and not very sanitary owner of the house, experience a power outage and need to find all those darn fuses you put at random places in the house. Sounds simple enough, right? However, have you, as you've been neglecting your house for years, the house has come to life and started haunting you. Will you find all six fuses? Looks like a gray tube with red ends. Uh, and power on the fuse box. Put on your diaper and give it a shot. Okay. P.S. The toaster is from Gothenburg, Sweden. And as such, it has a very bad sense of humor. All right, controls, E, interact, all sorts of things. F to toggle your flashlight, sounds useful, which does run out of battery, but also recharges. WSD to move, mouse to look around. All right, seems simple enough. Um, interesting that it apparently doesn't use the mouse buttons, or it's at least not mentioned. Credits, we've got Samuel Merton and Tim DeWitt. Really enjoyed participating in this Ludum Dare, um, Ludum Dare, and are already looking forward to the next one. All right, so we've got the game downloaded here. We just got to open it up. Let's get the folder open here. All right, got a nice little Unity window here. All right, so the game's launched. Got to get the OBS to hook in here. Alrighty. Just play the game. What the heck is that? Game. Come on. Let's play the game. Come on. That's very weird. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click play. Oh, oh, it's dark. Oh gosh. Oh, the field of view is low. It's so claustrophobic. It's extremely low. Wow. It's so trippy. It's like in Deus Ex when you take all the drugs and you can't see anything around you. Oh, I can run. That wasn't mentioned. Can I click on things? Um, I can't jump or crouch. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't mind not being able to jump, but I like being able to crouch because if I want to get, like, if, I, if this was interactable, I'd want to be able to get down there. <laughs> oh, gee, what in the? Oh, that was disorienting. Okay. Hey, buddy. Come on, just a little taste. Come on, 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 So yeah, it's pretty disorienting when those doors smack you in the face like that. Oh gosh. I haven't found anything I can interact with yet except for this. These doors. Now I didn't try interacting with this. I don't I didn't really want to because he's so creepy. <laughs> okay. I guess we're gonna look down here. I 
miss all these doors. Oh, I see. I guess this is locked. It'd be nice if there's like a little sound, like a rattling doorknob or something, so that you actually have a little feedback. Running a little low on flashlight battery. It's very dark though. Apparently creepy things happen when you turn it. So you guys can hear that okay. It's a little Hey! Jeez, I'm pickling hand that's grown legs. That was loud. Holy moly, I don't see any pickles in there myself. Oh, you can clip through it. <laughs> okay. I don't see any pickles. Uh. That might be a Rick and Morty reference there. This is the toaster, I presume, they mentioned. Is it moving? Why doesn't he wear clothes? So dumb. I don't want to smell you anymore. <laughs> Alright then. Well. Oh, here we go. I actually opened something. There's nothing in there though. Okay, so I can interact with the lower ones. Be nice if there's a little dot in the middle or something so I could see what I'm aiming at. I got a fuse. Woohoo! Wasn't there like seven? Oh, back in my day, I could cook things other than cakes. Other than cakes, huh? That's pretty cool. Bryr dig om kylen. Han är bara gnällig för att han är förkyld. Vad har Göteborgen till rostmackan? Är du god eller? For all I know, you could be saying something extremely vulgar. Hey, it's a little hard to aim. Ooh, I got both at the same time. That's a bonus. <clears throat> so yeah, it's a little hard to aim. That's the wrong button. What? Bryr dig om kylen. Bryr dig om kylen. Han är bara gnällig för att... Han är förkyld! Trash everywhere. Oh dear. So I'm noticing that there does seem to be a lot of places where there are drawers and things, but many of them don't appear to be interactable, so it's a little bit inconsistent in that way. And these I feel like I'm like, maybe I'm too far away to interact with it, so it's hard to, hard to even quite be sure that, um, you know, whether or not it is interactable because Because of the fact that it feels like it's hard to get close enough to it. Um, I have played some first person games where the doors just kind of go clip through you when you open them so you don't end up getting messy collision issues like that so <laughs> the thing you could think about doing. Now this actually apparently this door has collision even though I can clip through the rest of this. <laughs> it's kind of silly. I wish you'd go away honestly. Oh, that opened. What the heck? Can I even get in there? Whoops. Battery's running low. Oh, it's getting a little confusing. I gotta try to stake out until this recharges. So I do like the little context sensitive sound bits that come up when you turn your flashlight out and stuff like that. It's Help cool. me, the fucking child's gonna kill me. What? <laughs> no goodness.
All right, can't seem to interact with that. I can get into these. Mmm, very empty. Extremely empty. Oops. Close. Alright, I think we've exhausted this hallway here. Don't know what this even is, honestly. I guess those are like weird picture frames or something. I don't remember what this is. I guess this is locked. Go in there. Um, I guess we're just going downstairs. Oh. What in the heck? This is the fuse box. Oh, so that's where I left that burrito. Mmm, I'm gonna enjoy that in a moment. <laughs> okay then. Alright, we got two of them. Alright. Um, well, we're not doing too good so far. I only got two out of, what, six? Else we'd look. I couldn't. I can't get into most of these doors, so I don't know what's up with that. How does that work? Go back upstairs. Strange. It seems like we've pretty much covered the house by now. Flashlight. I'm so dirty. It's very dark. I don't want to smell you anymore. see have we been in here I think we went in here there's cans everywhere more TVs and lots of drawers we can't open unfortunately well um <laughs> gosh I don't know where else to look we already looked everywhere So like every drawer in the kitchen here is interactable. Most of the other ones I've come across don't seem to be. Oh, I guess I was over there before. And that's like outside. There's probably no way to get out there. Uh, I don't know what else to do. What else should I do? This is locked, I guess. That one's not. Oh, Come I haven't. On! Jeez, I'm... Do you even aim inside me? I got skids even flies are afraid of. Jeez, it's so loud. <laughs> it's very loud. Um, so yeah, I got three and I'm not sure why these are separated into three. I mean, sets of three. I don't know if that's, it has any significance. Uh, 
Huh. All right, so one of these, I think this one, the toilet. This one I still can't get into. And this one is locked. What else do we do? Can't find anything else to interact with, so... <clears throat> yeah, for whatever reason, I only found three fuses in the whole house here. Or what I presume to be the whole house. Oh no, the flashlight. Okay, well, I found three fuses. I don't know where the other three are. Um, the game page didn't mention that it was like half finished or anything. I know, you know obviously with a, a uh, weekend jam like this, you're gonna get games that don't have anything, everything they want implemented. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It seems like we looked everywhere already. Um, interesting sort of game. I think that the uh, the concept in general is quite clever. Um, as far as actually scary stuff, they just put some kind of jump scares in there where they just kind of start yelling out of nowhere, uh, which I guess is <laughs> effective on some level. Um, but yeah, very bizarre. I do kind of like the house. I don't know if this was all modeled in this time or whatever, you know, who knows these days, but, um, <laughs> it's, it's quite interesting. And yeah, I guess if I was to provide constructive feedback, I think that just the what I mentioned about the... Uh, it seems like there's so many drawers and stuff that you can't interact with. Um, kind of creates a sense of inconsistency. Or it seemed like it was like the kitchen where all the things were that I could actually interact with and then everything else is kind of not really happening. So, oh well, well, apparently this was, this was the game, so... Quite interesting. Um, <laughs> hopefully you found something of value in this video. Now naturally the, uh, the nature of these jams, of these kind of mini games people are making, there's not much you can do in the way of playtesting feedback, but um, I thought I'd give it a shot. And uh, whoops. Oh, okay. So the escape key closes the game. <laughs> wondering what happened there for a second um yeah i thought i'd give it a shot and and uh just to kind of do something a little different so um you know hopefully hopefully somebody appreciates this video <laughs> and uh of course i'll post this to the dev as i always do and they might get a kick out of it but um interesting video uh good job with the, the litum dare and uh yeah i hope to see you guys in the next video